Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Lee Martial Artist and today we're going to study how to hold the bokken technically properly. So let's go straight into it. When holding the bokken there's a misconception of holding it this way. So this is the classical way when people hold it. This is very wrong but not wrong just for the sake of being wrong. It's wrong because this might injure yourself. Why is that? Because look, if I'm gonna cut with my hand like this, yeah, you see what's go going on here, this this side here? Like, the, the bokken, when it's gonna go with the oldest strength I'm gonna put here on the tip of it, this side will lever here, and this is gonna have an impact on this side of my arm, you see? And that's gonna injure yourself. Instead, if you put it this way, you see, with this side of the finger here, this way, then you have more control. So, we're gonna make an example on this side. So you see when you're like this here, you hold it this way and you go with a cut, you see it's more precise here. See, the position is a little bit uncomfortable because it's not natural. It's not a natural way of holding it. So look, you can see it even from this side here. You see, this is how your body is supposed to look like. So this is the unconventional way based on our body posture. And this is like the classical way people use it, which is the wrong way. But this is the right way, as you can see, my arm is literally covering the bokken. I can barely see it because it's covered by my arm here. Yeah, but when I cut again, look, it's perfect. It goes right there. If I hold it this way, this is the type of cut I'm, I'm, I'm doing. And bear in mind, look at my body posture. You see this? This is wrong. My arm are not supposed to be open like this. They're supposed to be like this, but I cannot do it with this kind of hand posture. I need to put my hand here. See, again, it's not natural, it's cumbersome at the beginning, it's gonna take you a while to get used to it, but once you get used to it, trust me, your way of holding and practicing with the book is gonna change completely. So here, you see, when you're here like this, you should feel a lot of tension here. You should, you should feel this part of your body working because you're not used to using it this way. So you see, when you're here and you start a cut, that's what happens, you see here, see? So this is the one. I'm gonna make a closer view so we can see a close shot of how you're supposed to hold the bokken. So you see, the classical way people hold it is this one here. When they hold it like this, and they hold this one like this. You see, literally, the two hands are parallel. And they're not supposed to be like that. The way they're supposed to be is like, this hand here is supposed to be on top, you see, of the handle here. And this one as well, here, look. This is how, look. This is how you're supposed to hold it, here, you see? So this side of your finger here needs to be put here, this way. And from there, your hands must be like this, you see? That's the alignment you want to have. And remember, one very important thing is that the hand that cuts is not this one. That's not the hand that cuts. This is the hand that guides the sword. The hand that cuts is actually this one. This is the one that cuts. And this is the one that guides. Let's see it from here. So you see, this is the hand that cuts. It's not natural either on this way as well, because you see, it's not very comfortable neither, but that's the one. You cut with this hand here and with the finger here, you see? Not like this, but with the finger a little bit on top of the handle, you see? And this is the hand that guides. So with this hand, I'm gonna guide my cut. You see, so this is why this hand needs to be very firm. It needs to be very, uh, really not even moving, but obviously you're gonna get there with a constant practice. Here, here, okay? One more time, this is the hand that cuts and this is the hand that guides. Eventually you can exercise yourself like this, you see? Exercise yourself this way in order also to work the muscle of the hand here, you know, to be able to control it the way you want it. It's gonna take a while because you see, as I'm doing this, I'm feeling already my muscle working here, but slowly, slowly, you're gonna get there. And then you can try to train this one instead like this because its purpose is to guide, it's not to cut, you see? And this one is designed to cut. So actually when you cut in, you see, it's here. You see, here. So the one that do the final strike that gonna make the thrust hit its target is here, you see? So that's the one. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did like it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment what you think about what you've seen and 
Don't forget to click on the ring bell in order to get the notification as soon as I'm posting a new video. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.